All right, so Microsoft is on a path to fix this with the KB5044384 patch. This fixes apparently the UI, the uh, strange undeletable 8.63 gigabyte file, uh, SFC, uh, that's, you know, scan for errors and also the direct access bugs. So if you want to find out more information, you can go over here. I will link you to it uh, as well right here on their official site. They go through, you know, what they have fixed in this particular update. Now, I know a lot of people are resistant to upgrade to the latest 24H2, and I totally get that, you know, with all this recall and co-pilot AI stuff that's included in it. Unfortunately, your upgrade path is probably going to have to include this, and I just hope that Microsoft kind of sees the uh, writing on the wall with people now hearing about this and um, ultimately deciding possibly to give up the operating system completely and move to Linux. I think you're going to see a big move to Linux uh, for this reason and for others uh, with uh, Valve getting involved in Linux and just Linux becoming an operating system where, well, you can do pretty much everything you can do on Windows. Now, that's not the case right now in October 2024, but I think if more money and more co corporations and companies devote more time with regards to figuring out hardware issues and other software issues with Linux when it comes to a lot of applications and games and stuff, Linux, Linux could possibly become the gaming system. We don't know. I mean, that has, to be honest, never been the case. Um, some people will disagree with me on that. I'm sure some Linux people, but not all games that work on Windows work on Linux. That's just, uh, um, you know, it's just a fact. Unfortunately, I have tried Linux, and the last one that I've tried, which has been stellar, has been Cache OS. You can Google that, but I went through a number of distros over the last few weeks, and that one is just absolutely amazing. It's fast, and all the games just work that I've tried on it. And uh, that's something to be said. Now, for me, you know, I'm doing all of this with OBS and I have a bunch of other tools that I use here and, you know, a whole list of games that I play and stuff. But still, even with Cache OS, it is not going to, I don't think, anytime soon, at least within the next few months or maybe even the next year, replace Windows for me. But that's me and that's not you. And if you like Windows, great. If you like Linux, Great. But yeah, if you want to find out more about this particular update, you can do so and I'll provide both of these links in the YouTube description down below.